In this video, we're going to discuss the CSV files available in Estimator for SketchUp. Uh, basically, there are three CSV files that you can customize for use with your own operations. Uh, there is one for cost codes, there is one for your vendors, and there's one for units displayed. All right, so I wanted to show you where these are located and how you can edit them and customize them for your own use. Um, the first thing you need to know how to do is to drill into your plugins folder for SketchUp. That's going to be different for whether you're on Windows or Mac. I could show you on a Mac version in another video, but um, I'm assuming you've already been to that location. Uh, but basically, it's under your users on your local drive, typically uh, under your local drive and your users your username, your app data. Sometimes that's hidden, so you may have to Google how to, to um, have app data appear. On a Mac, it's in your library and application support, I believe. So um, there's a couple of different ways of finding it, but in, again, in Windows, it's under Roaming, and then SketchUp, and in this case, SketchUp 2016, um, and then SketchUp again, and Plugins. So this ultimately gets you into your plugins folder for SketchUp. But again, there's uh, probably a, a different for different users, but um, there should be plenty of uh, notation or, or tutorials on how to find the plugins folder for SketchUp. All right. Once we're inside there, um, we're going to look for the estimator folder. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the estimator folder. You're going to see a folder for cost codes, for display units, and then this one down here for vendors. These are the three that uh, are of concern. All right, estimator comes preloaded with uh, cost codes. And that is this cost code CSV file that if I was to double click on that, it's going to pull it up in Excel and you're going to see it's got the code number, the title, I'll expand this out, the, and the category. Now in the estimator reporting, the reports are going to subtotal by category. Okay and it's auto populating this list in here so if you're an estimator and you're looking for um, site work for instance you would just start typing in site work or if you knew it was code 1200 either way it's auto populating from this uh, csv file here and again it will subtotal from the this uh, category here so you can make this whatever list you have for your own accounting you could use this CSV file, which again is the National Association of Home Builders cost codes, um, or you can override that field in Estimator with whatever code number you want to use. Um, so it's completely customizable, but that's what this comes preloaded with. But um, everybody probably has their own accounting codes. So all you would have to do is put it into a CSV file. If you're in Excel, you could save it as a CSV file and just have these three uh, columns essentially code number the title and the category and if you have it in that order it should show up properly in estimator and certainly let me know if it does not so that's the cost codes and it has to be named cost codes so if we close that back out cost codes file that is cost with a capital c on the codes dot csv so make sure that it's named that and estimator will find it Okay, so we looked at cost codes. The next one's display units. If I opened up display units, you'll see that, it, and this is just more of a time saver, it's going to, whatever you type in the field for display units, it will override this. But uh, these are just typical units that, that I use in my operations, and you can change this list to be whatever you want it to be, and then save it. Just edit this display units file and save it, and it will work as well. Just like the cost codes, you could just edit that cost codes CSV file and save it and it will be yours the next time. So um, okay that's display units. Vendors are uh, who you use in your operations and everybody's going to have different vendors of course. So what you can do is just simply uh, go into maybe you're going to QuickBooks or whatever your accounting program is and then export your vendors uh, to a CSV file. And um, that way, or a comma delimited file, you'll be able to bring in your vendors right now. And I'll pull up my vendor list. All right, this is this is my vendor list. Now you'll see I've got phone number, fax, and addresses, and things like that. Right now, Estimator is only looking for the name, 
this very first column, A1. So this is all that you really need in there uh, is to have your vendors alphabetically in this list. Um, in the future, I hope to have a purchase order system for Estimator, and this other information will come into play then. But for right now, this one column is all you need. You could create a CSV file from scratch if you wanted to with all of your vendors in there just as a time saver. So if you're over an estimator and you're, you've got something that's going to, uh, you know, Caps Home Building Center, you can just start typing in CAP, boom, it's going to be there. It's going to auto-populate. So that's uh, your vendors. So that's a, um, a quick look at these three folders for these three CSV files available to you to customize an estimator. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.